Don't just follow the crowd. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about following God, right? And I don't know why it is, but it really seems like people like to go with the flow. We like to follow the crowd, right? I always think it's funny because I've seen these big these big construction trucks that have a big old sign on the back that says, do not follow into work area. And I always think that's funny. It's like, who would follow them? But apparently people do because they need to put a sign on the back that says, don't do this thing. I don't know why people would follow a big old dump truck into a work site instead of just staying on the road, but people do. And you know, sometimes it's good to follow the crowd, but sometimes it's a very bad thing. Just because a whole bunch of people are doing something doesn't make it a good thing. And so that can make it kind of hard to know what's right, you know? There are some times where people will be like, half the people over here are saying one thing and the other half over here are saying another and then they get in a big fight and then you just get caught in the middle looking around being like, wow, who is right about this? But right and wrong is not about how many people say so. God decides what is right. And that's why it's so important for us to be connected with God, for us to be in our Bibles and to, to learn what God wants us to know. Everything in the Bible comes from God. Everything in the Bible is true and good. And that's why it's so important for us to read our Bible and to know it and to obey it and live it out. Sometimes people try to, you know, go with the crowd and say, well, the crowd says that this is okay. And then they go to their Bible and they try to find something that makes it so that the Bible agrees with what everybody else is saying. And sometimes the Bible does agree with what everybody's saying. Sometimes the crowd is doing what God wants us to do, but sometimes it isn't. And if a bunch of people around you are doing something that the Bible says that you shouldn't do, it's not the Bible that's wrong, it's the people. And sometimes people try to, you know, pick and choose some of the things that God says and forget other things that God says, or say, you know, this is important when God says this, but it's not so important when God says that, because people like this thing, but they don't like that thing. But it is so important to follow God. We need to change our lives to fit Scripture instead of trying to change scripture to fit our lives. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would not just, you know, go with the flow, go with the crowd, go with what everybody else is doing, but that you would read your Bible and learn for yourself what it is that God wants. Don't just take other people's word for it, what's good and what's bad, because people disagree a lot. This group over here says one thing and this group over there says another. And it's not about which group is bigger, it's about which group is following God. Not everybody can be right, but God can't be wrong. So let's follow him.